The number of Koreans who relocated to different regions in the country rose for the second consecutive month in May, likely due to an increase in housing sales in March and April. 지난달 국내에서 거주지를 옮긴 이동 인구 숫자가 두달 연속 증가했습니다. 이는 3월과 4월 주택 매매량이 증가한 영향으로 보입니다. All right, tell us more. So around 498,000 people moved last month. They changed their their residences. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is up just 0.1% from a year earlier, but still shows shows an increase. Um, the number fell for the first time in six months in March, actually, but then rebounded quickly to log a 17% year-over-year growth in April. So this this shows signs of recovery in the local property market. Yeah. And um, we're talking about people relocating to either different provinces, different cities, and things like that. But as you said, there's been quite a lot of um, buying and selling of homes in the past couple of months and uh, I guess that's why people are moving out of the city or maybe moving to a different city and things yeah, like that. Yeah, usually when we hear relocate, you think it's somewhere f- it's not like mm. usually in not next not the next, next door like technically yeah. the definition yeah. is just to move. Yeah. But yeah. it's normally not used that way. You mm. normally relocate to you move to a different city away. or a different country oh. even, yeah. right? So yeah. um, by region in in Korea, Seoul saw a net outflow mm-hmm. of 5,880 people in May. Okay. Um, Gyeonggi and Incheon mm. saw inflows, actually. Yeah. So Gyeonggi saw an inflow of over 6,200. Mm. Incheon saw a net inflow of about, one, um, about 1,400 people. Mm-hmm. So we're seeing a, people are leaving the capital yeah. and moving either to Gyeonggi. Well, we don't know for sure if that's right. where they're going, but we can... Yep. Obviously, some of those people that have left Seoul went to those places as well. Exactly, And uh, there's been a lot of projections about what the population's going to be like in the next couple of decades. And in a lot of these recent projections, they've been saying almost all cities and provinces will see a decrease in population. But Incheon and Gyeonggi will likely see an increase because, as you said, you know, people in Seoul are, are quite likely to move to the suburbs. Not it's the not, suburbs, yeah. but just, yeah, just it, yeah, not too far away so, yeah, exactly. from where from where they're li- where they've lived most of their life yeah. or where they're from. Yeah, which is what I did too. Sure, I lived yeah. in Seoul. Now I live in Gyeonggi. Right, exactly. <laughs> so you're an example of this, right? <laughs> yes. Is it a good decision? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, but I mean, I still love Seoul. Right. Let's look at relocate. I have to move to a new place, and as we mentioned, it's often a new city or a new country. Mm -hmm. Um, One example that I have, so sports teams sometimes relocate. Mm. That that happens. And it's it's just happened um, in professional hockey. There's a team that was in uh, Arizona, which Mm -hmm. is not really a hotbed for ice hockey, as you can imagine. So the team has um, relocated from Arizona to Utah. Oh. So when you're talking about where you reload, you can relocate to a place from mm-hmm. another place. So mm-hmm. well, you'll hear that a lot, right? The company relocated from Manhattan mm. to Connecticut, for 네. example. 그러니까 이동하다, 이전하다의 의미인데요. 그냥 가까운 곳으로 간다기보다는 이 느낌 자체가 좀먼 곳으로 어, 그 옮긴다라는 그런 뜻이 있어서 뭐 회사를 옮긴다든지 아니면은 어, 그뭐 지사를 다른 곳으로 가, 간다든지 할때 많이 쓰는 표현입니다. 이 경우에는 물론 이제 이동한다라는 의미로 썼고요. Likely due to uh, that means it's probably because of that. Likely yeah. means probably, mm. right? So someone asks you, will you come to the party? Mm-hmm. Yeah, likely. I'll likely go. Yeah, I'll yep. probably go. Mm. And due to just means because of. Mm. 자, 아마도 이런 뜻이 있어요. Likely. Uh, due to는 뭐뭐 때문이다 니까요 Likely due to는 뭐 때문인 것으로 보인다. 이렇게 해석할 수 있습니다. Yeah, the key is that you're not saying for sure. Right. This is a proven reason why mm. this happened. It's, it's just all signs point to that. It's an yeah, educated guess. Exactly. Here's the headline again. The number of Koreans who relocated to different regions in the country rose for the second consecutive month in May, likely due to an increase in housing sales in March and April.